Lexus and in today's video I'm so freaking excited because I'm going to be trying out the new Wet n Wild collab with Spongebob Squarepants. I even wore my handsome Squidward shirt in preparation. Yes, I literally have so many products here to try with you guys. I'm so excited. Uh, let me grab the other ones too so that I don't feel left out. You can't even see it. And fun fact, even the sound effect that I use to cover up my cursing on my channel is the sailor mouth um, Spongebob dolphin noise. But I do want to say that this video is not possible without my siblings. They were so kind enough to get me this collection. It absolutely means the world. So please leave them some love down below if I can find the words to say. Leave some love down below and thank them so much for this video because it seriously means a lot. The only things that I won't be testing in this video is the other face mist and then I believe I'm missing um, a couple of the face sponges, but I will leave a video or two down below in the description that does have that part of the collection with the sponges and the face mist if you want to see how that works and I'll make sure it's actually really helpful. But yeah, before we get started, if you guys want to see any more content for me, any more makeup collab reviews, any more just content in general, please hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps my channel out. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Ha, how you like that? Alrighty, so I went ahead off camera and I primed my eyes. So the first thing that I definitely want to get into is the Gary sponge and brush cleaner. I didn't really think that there was a sort of interesting way to show you guys how this works, um, but I thought I would talk to you about how it does work. I do already have a little bit of trouble with this. As you can see, it is literally gone. This probably could be fixed if I did some research before this video and seen if there was a refill for this. If there's a refill, feel that you could put into this then um this whole issue could be resolved so go me so i use this on all of my brushes literally i have all of these brushes and then i have also these face brushes and as you can see it is almost gone i got one use out of it i will say i love it so much i love the product it literally brought vibrancy out of my brushes like as you can see this one is pure white it's another example this had black in it and now it is almost white but it was really easy to use i just set it under the faucet and i let the water run just a tiny bit and i'd rub my brushes in there and i would literally watch all the pigment disappear and as well as all of my brushes seem to have like a new life to it they're very firm um, and I feel like I just got them. That is definitely a plus, but I didn't even press that hard using it. And I have about one half of a use left. I mean, this right here is completely empty out of it. I really do like it. It does smell good. I love the packaging. Um, we love little Gare Bear. Let's go ahead and move on to the main attraction. So right here, I have the Nautical Nonsense Eyeshadow Palette. I am so freaking excited to try this out. I've heard really good things about it, but I've not seen anybody swatch it um, just because I haven't looked into it yet. I think the packaging is so freaking adorable. Literally all the packaging, um, I have all of this stuff and I don't want to throw it away, especially with the brushes. It's so freaking cute. This is what the palette looks like. It, I, I love the colors so much. I have to throw shade, but the Sims 4 palette with MAC, as you could see, literally had no colors or names inspired by the Sims. Um, it didn't really feel like it was a Sims palette, but this feels like it's a SpongeBob palette with all of the colors and the names, which we will get into. And then here are the names on the back, along with the information and ingredients about it. And also what I really love, I've never kind of used Wet n Wild products before. They all have a seal on them um i don't know if this is for the limited edition stuff but i really love how it's bright so you could see like if somebody definitely peeled that off Ugh. Mother one second already so i got the seal off i still have a little bit on there but let's go ahead and open it ah. 
<gasps> oh no. So one of the pans seems to be falling out. I definitely did not drop this. Here are the colors. There's a lot of shimmery shades, which I'm excited to play with, especially with the highlighter that I have. Also, I love the stamps in each of these, like the Krabby Patties and the clouds and the jellyfish. That is so, is that a jellyfish? That is jellyfish. I'm not blind today. Again, I love it so much. And I think they definitely paid attention to a color palette that represents SpongeBob a lot. I also love the names like Load of Barnacles and Gare Bear. I think people who are longtime SpongeBob fans can pick up on those names, which is really, really cute. Let's go ahead and swatch these. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my arm right here. So let's go ahead and I just realized I have no makeup wipes. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start swatching from the top row to the bottom row. So we're gonna start with these colors. First shade that we have is mayonnaise. This one definitely blends into my skin tone. As you can see, like I totally forget where I put it. I love how it's not completely white because if you eat mayonnaise, like mayonnaise is not completely white. It's like got a tan color to it. So that's really cool. The next color that we are going to swatch is one eternity later. Ooh. Oh, wow. I love how that one is a sandy, like, bun, hamburger bun color. Um, and it also has a Krabby Patty stamp on it, which is really cool. Next up, we have a tartar sauce. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wet and wild? I'm wet and wild. That was so cool. I think also what a lot of makeup users look for is to make sure that it is just not a top spray of glitter. This definitely does not look like it. I dipped into it pretty hard and there's still glitter there. So I'm so excited about that. Next up is Sandy Shoals. Oh, holy sh- uh, It's literally so bright. It's hard to pick up on camera. Are you kidding me? Next up, we have a Bikini Bottom. Oh! <gasps> Y'all, this is without primer on my arm. I'm just, I'm just putting it on. Finally, we have II Captain. <sighs> Look at that. That is insane. Are you kidding me? Next up, we have Sea Star. <gasps> oh my God, it's like the perfect Patrick color. It's not like insanely pink. It's literally a Sea Star color. That is so adorable. Next up, we have Best Day Ever. <gasps> Look how adorable that is. That is so freaking cute. Oh my God, I really hope that picks up. Next up, we have Square Pants. I have so much eyeshadow on my hands. Okay, it's like a more faint gold color, my camera. I like that, I would put that on top of like a matte color or in my inner corner. And then we have Pretty Patty. I'm running out of arm room. Uh, wow. Oh my God. This is insane so far. And I hope I have more arm room to do the rest. So this is Jellyfish Jam. Oh my God, yes. Look at this color palette, you guys. Like it fits together so perfectly that I, this is about to be one of my favorite palettes I own. Then the final color we have is Gare Bear. Look at that. One Wild may have a new um, customer question mark. So next up we have Howdy Y'all. And this looks like a sandy skin color. That is so cute. <laughs> Definitely need to dip into that one one more time. So let's go ahead and do it that. It has a little bit of payout, not too much. And then this one, I know I'm about to start screaming. This is me money. I'm Mr. K, Mr. K. So I've run out of room on my arms. <laughs> Alrighty, here come the glitter. So next up is order up. Oh, uh, it, it won't even pick up. It's just, it's just that powerful. <laughs> do we even want to do absorb the love? Like, do we need to, do we need to absorb the love? I think we do. Okay. So this is absorb the love. Dead. Alrighty. And we have the final two colors. So this is load of barnacles. <gasps> Oh wow, that is like a chocolatey, creamy color. Love that. And then this one I'm excited for. This is Secret Formula. 
Y'all, I did not prime my arm. Look at this. Oh my god. I'm, I'm, I'm shukaroni and cheese. I'm so excited to use this palette, you guys. So many colors to choose from and all of them are so freaking pigmented. I don't even know what I'm about to do. Yes, these are all the swatches, you guys. I am so impressed by these colors and especially I just love the color palette again I think it definitely ties into the bikini bottom theme with all the characters and the little jokes that Spongebob has but yeah I'm gonna quickly go off camera and analyze my beautiful color palette and figure out what I want to do on my eyes and I will come back to you to do the eye test I have this crazy idea in my head where I want to mash up Spongebob and Patrick on both eyes um, I want to do a pink and the yellow colors that represent them and then I want to do like a green like dramatic eyeliner spongebob freckles um we're gonna try to make it work I'm really excited I think I figured out what I'm seeing in my head but we're gonna put it into the test now so going into the palette I'm gonna go ahead and dip into sea star and I'm gonna put that all over my crease not as pigmented on my eye as I did when I just swatched it without um, the primer. I'm on my third layer now of color. Okay, I think I got it up to where I want it. So definitely this type of pigment needs to be built, which is fine. Fun. <laughs> Next, I think I'm gonna go into Gare Bear right here to deepen up the crease just a tad bit. I think I'm gonna take just a singular dip of load of barnacles or two and dust it off just to deepen the crease just a tad bit because I really did want that transition. Okay, I like that. That's good. It's not really blended in real life, but as long as it looks fine on camera, I don't care. So this is gonna be weird, I know, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into the square pants color and I'm gonna put that all over my lid. Excuse me, this is the best day ever color. I'm so sorry that I'm a fan. Definitely gonna build this one up some more. I hope somebody sees where I'm trying to go with this. Finally, I will say these are some shadows on top of primer that need to be built up. They are very creamy and very smooth to blend. I'm gonna go back in with the same brush that I used to do my crease to just blend the colors together. Oh wow, they're just, they're just blending. They're doing their thing. Excuse me. Cute, I love it. I think this is going where I want it to. Now with a separate color that is not with the palette, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw a green line right here. I just, I envision it works for some reason, but I'm not gonna use the Me Money color because I think it's a little too dark. Alrighty, you guys, so I went ahead off camera and I finished my eyes. I love it so much. I think it's so freaking cute. I'm really happy the green turned out really well with it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna move on to my face. I won't lie. I'm a little scared. So right here, I have the Best Friends of Forever Primer and Hydrating Mist. It's clear, but when you sit there and you shake the product up, it turns into like this gold, like misty color. It's so cool. So if you've seen me do my makeup before or have heard me talk about it, you will know I have really dry skin. I have it really bad on my nose. Um, I use a very tacky e.l.f. primer, um, meaning like texture wise to really pack on and make sure my nose is it gonna dry out and be very crusty and disgusting. So I'm really counting on this primer to help my skin out. So this is Hydrating Brightening and Primer Mist and it's got a little bit of glitter in it. I don't mind that at all. Because this is a primer and I already did my eyes, I'm gonna cover up my eyes with something. I'm gonna find something to cover it up um, and then we're gonna spray it. So this is what it looks like. Oh Lord. The smell of it smells like the Gary um, soap. It's very, it smells very soapy, which I guess is okay. I don't know how primer is really supposed to smell. The primer I use is a scented, so I don't really know. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend that 
into my skin with my beauty blender. You guys, I finally got a new beauty blender. I'm really praying for it to keep my nose intact. I may spray a little more on like my hands to pack it into my nose because I really want this to work. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray some into my hand and I'm gonna apply that on my nose. Um, because again, I don't really trust my nose to just be fine with a mist. But after putting that little second spurt on, it feels really nice. It's not tacky or anything, which I'm a little scared about. I'm going to do my concealer, my foundation, and my blush and blend it out. And then we are going to go ahead and try the Sandy Kabuki brush and see how that does with the powder. So far, the concealer blended really good, normally how it should. Um, I don't have really a full coverage one, so it didn't like, of course, cover. So let's go ahead and apply that to my skin. Seems to be gripping onto my foundation pretty well so far. I still need to blend it into like my creases and all that, but it seems to be doing good so far. Oh my God, I'm, oh my God. My foundation is on and blended. I am super impressed with this. My foundation looks good. I, hello? I definitely want to incorporate this now into my makeup. Um, I'm probably still going to use this just specifically on my T-zone. Let's go ahead and add more product on. So I'm going to add some more concealer. I just realized my eye kind of looks like a Krabby Patty. And I'm not mad at that. I'm so happy, you guys. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with my blush stick and blend that out as well. Okay, literally that blush stick did nothing. <laughs> I went ahead off camera and I set my eyes and my nose. I like to use a smaller brush for that just to get really into everywhere. But now on to the fun part. We are going to go ahead and try the Round Kabuki Sandy Brush. I'm so excited. I'm really hoping that this is definitely a hit so I can replace my brush that I use for this just because look how cute it is. This is one of the packagings that I don't want to throw away. It's so freaking adorable. This is so freaking cute. I love it. I literally love that it's her flower color and it literally looks like her little helmet. This is so freaking cute. Oh, wow. Okay, this is very soft. I'm really excited for this. This is very soft and smooth, but also it feels very firm. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm just gonna use this powder and I'm going to sweep the brush around, pat it in to pick up the powder. This is what we have. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pack it in and also dust it around a little bit. So it'll be kind of hard for you guys to tell <laughs> on the other end of the screen how it works just because I test how it puts my powder on based on the feeling. If my skin has this velvety texture, then I know that I put enough powder on, but if it doesn't, then I need a little bit extra. So far so good. It's not dragging my foundation at all. It seems to just be packing it in place, which I needed it to do. Also, it's not too uncomfortable to hold like I just put my finger right here and it seems to be working perfectly fine. So going ahead and feeling it, it feels pretty matte. It's not too velvety, um, but it's not bad at all. It actually just feels really nice. I love this brush so much. It's definitely blended the powder into my skin very well. My skin's a very different texture. Like I said, it usually feels velvety when I put makeup on, but this like blended it in and took it to a whole new level. And I really love it. Alrighty, so I went ahead off camera and I did my blush, my contour, and I added some freckles to pay homage to Spongebob. I've restarted this intro like six times thinking like I was ready to go and I realized I haven't finished my under eyes. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I just tight lined my eyes with that Patrick color, but now onto the highlighter. So this is the Spongebob highlighter along with this little flat flat kabuki brush. This brush can be used for your contour as well as your highlighter. I wanted to try it as my highlighter brush because again, I've been using the same kind of set of brushes for a while and I want to switch it up. So I really am excited to use this. And then this is the SpongeBob highlighter. I think this is so freaking cute. This packaging and the pan is such a cute idea as well. It's very smart. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open these and we're going to do our highlighter. 
Wow. Okay, so this is it without the... I really don't want to dip into it. I'm sad. Look how adorable that is. Alrighty, here is the brush. It is really freaking soft. I'm so excited. I've never used a flat kabuki brush like this, so please forgive me if I use it wrong. I think I can just do like this or and then blend it like that. I have no idea. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slide this into the palette. I am nervous. Holy crap, there it is. Okay, let's go ahead and, ah, okay. <gasps> Whoa, okay, definitely got a blender out. Okay, wow, this is a very pigmented highlighter. I definitely have applied it wrong or I'm doing it wrong right now, but I'm gonna try to blend it out as best as I can. This probably would have been a little bit better just as the contour. Um, but I'm gonna just try to see if I can do it. Also, it's a little weird to hold. I'm not sure if there's brushes like this or if I'm holding it wrong. Probably doing this entire video wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm not too comfortable continuing to use this as a, um, highlighter brush. So I'm gonna go in with my normal highlighter brush and fix this up. She is blinding. I will say that. She's very, very, very blinding and very nice to blend out. I'm gonna use my beauty blender a little bit to blend it out. Um, just because it is a little harsh like when you face towards the front. But it fits like really nicely with the look. So I mean, I'm not too mad at it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with a smaller brush and dip into the highlighter. Y'all, I have dipped into this a couple of times and the pan is not moving at all. I love this so much. I definitely need to learn how to use it better because this is an insane product. For right now, it, I, I'm hoping I'm doing this right. <laughs> to my brow bone. That is cute. That is a little subtle highlight moment. That is really adorable. I love that so much. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and finish my face and I will come back with a final review of the Spongebob collection. Alrighty, and with that, the makeup look is complete. I look like a Krabby Patty. <laughs> I didn't even expect that to happen. I was trying to do the Spongebob and Patrick look, but I ended up looking like a Krabby Patty and I'm not mad at it. I think it fits perfectly. I love this so much and I'm so happy I got to review this. I think that this collection is so adorable. It is so sweet. It is so simple. There's not too many things to focus on, but at the same time, there is enough for it to be such an amazing collection. I love everything so much. The primer shocked me. The palette is so beautiful. The highlighter, I, I just love it all so much and I'm so happy again and thankful that I got to review this. Let me know what you guys think down below or if you have the makeup collection, let me know what you think of it. I personally love it so much and I'm excited to incorporate everything into my daily makeup routine. I cannot get over the fact that I look like a crappy patty. For today's sunny shout out, it goes to a dear friend of mine, Tari. Tari, thank you so much for continuing to love and support me and be such a kind and amazing good friend. You fuel my K-pop addiction. You are so sweet and always interacting with me and supporting me and it seriously means the world and I cannot thank you enough. If you guys want to be my next sunny shout out, all you have to do is support this video on any social medias and make sure to tag me. All my social medias are linked down below for you to do that. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video and you want to see more content from me please hit that subscribe button also you can comment future video recommendations in the comment section below all my social medias are linked down below and yeah thank you for taking a vacation to my paradise i hope to see you soon bye know that you're coming back home.